Picture this, the year is 1978, a time when television screens were a portal to uncharted laughter, heartwarming camaraderie, and moments that etched themselves into the collective memory. In the midst of this era, a remarkable show burst onto the scene, illuminating the screen with its distinct blend of comedy and humanity. It was none other than Taxi, a show that would go on to redefine sitcoms and steal a piece of our hearts forever. Do you recall that first encounter with the eclectic crew of New York City cab drivers? The opening chords of that jazzy theme song pulling you into a world where life's struggles were met with quirky humor and heartfelt connections. Alex, Louis, Elaine, Tony, Bobby, and Reverend Jim, each character a vivid stroke on the canvas of a Manhattan taxi garage. Their personalities clashed as much as they clicked, delivering a symphony of laughter and introspection. Was it the ever-stressed dispatcher, Louis de Palma, whose biting remarks somehow made you chuckle? Or perhaps Reverend Jim's offbeat wisdom that left you both bewildered and enlightened? And let's not forget the enigmatic Alex Reger, holding them all together like the glue of their dysfunctional family. As you revisit those episodes in your mind's eye, a carousel of memorable moments spins into view. The unforgettable scene where Jim takes the driver's test, leaving you in stitches. Bobby's artistic aspirations taking an unexpected turn. Elaine's unyielding spirit shining through amidst a male-dominated garage. Tony's undeniable charm in his dream of someday escaping the taxi grind. But here's the twist. Beneath its comedic surface, Taxi often explored deeper themes, dreams unrealized, friendships tested, and the bittersweet dance between ambition and reality. In that blend of laughter and thoughtfulness, the show carved its niche into the golden annals of television history. Now, as we take a detour into some fascinating behind-the-scenes snippets, let's explore the web of trivia that spun around this classic. From casting choices that almost went in a completely different direction to the off-screen bonds that mirror the camaraderie on screen, each piece adds a layer of richness to the story of Taxi. And so, as the curtain rises on the lesser-known tales, remember those nights you spent in the company of these unconventional taxi drivers, weaving through the streets of laughter and life lessons. It was a journey that left an indelible mark, reminding us that sometimes, the most ordinary places and people can shine with extraordinary brilliance. Welcome back to the world of taxi, where meters tick, lives intertwine, and the laughter never truly fades. Buckle up for a ride through anecdotes and curiosities that await, all about the show that remains timeless in our hearts. Checker Motors Corporation, driving Taxi's iconic yellow cabs, the 1978 TV series Taxi remains etched in our memories for its sharp wit and endearing characters. Behind the scenes, one unassuming company from Kalamazoo, Michigan played a pivotal role in shaping the show's iconic visuals. Before concluding its manufacturing operations in 1982, the Checker Motors Corporation etched its mark on television history by supplying the distinct yellow cabs that became synonymous with taxi. These yellow taxis, a fixture of New York City streets, formed an integral backdrop for the show's comedic and poignant moments. Checker's legacy, rooted in producing robust and reliable vehicles, dovetailed perfectly with the show's portrayal of a struggling taxi company. Checker's cabs weren't just props, they became an extension of the characters themselves. From Lowey's sarcastic banter to Alec's philosophical musings, these taxis bore witness to it all. Each ding and dent carried a piece of the show's essence, making the cabs not just a means of transportation, but a part of the narrative. The Checker Motors Corporation's contribution to Taxi wasn't merely aesthetic. These cars served as a reflection of the characters' journeys, emblematic of the highs and lows of their lives. And even though Checker Motors closed its doors, its yellow cabs continue to roam the streets of our nostalgia, a reminder of a time when a simple ride could bring laughter, tears, and everything in between. As we remember Taxi and its unforgettable cast, let's not forget the Checker Motors Corporation, a company that drove the show forward, one iconic cab at a time. Andy Kaufman's unconventional journey with Taxi, a behind-the-scenes revelation in the bustling world of 1978 television. Where sitcoms reigned supreme, the series Taxi carved its own unique path, largely due to the enigmatic Andy Kaufman. The show's creators stumbled upon a comedic goldmine when they brought Kaufman on board, but little did they know the unconventional twists and turns that awaited them. 
Hoffman's embodiment of the beloved character Latka Grava's wasn't just happenstance. He had already crafted the persona during his comedy routines. The iconic catchphrase, thank you very much, had already been etched into audiences' minds before it echoed through the taxi sets. Interestingly, it was the show's writers who bestowed the name Latka Gravas upon this character, a moniker that would soon become synonymous with Kaufman's comedic genius. Even more intriguing was Kaufman's insistence on keeping his distance from the sitcom realm. With a contract stipulating a mere two days a week on set for 14 episodes each season, Kaufman's initial reluctance to join the cast stemmed from his desire to focus solely on his stand-up comedy career. However, the producers recognized something special in him, leading to a compromise that birthed one of TV's most memorable characters. Yet, behind the scenes, the role of Bobby Wheeler almost took a different turn. The producer's initial inclination was to cast an African-American actor, with Cleavon Little emerging as a finalist. Jeff Conaway, who eventually secured the role of Bobby, wasn't even in the running initially. Intriguingly, Conaway's request to audition for Bobby shifted the trajectory, ultimately making him the only white actor considered for the part. The casting director's hindsight admission that Cleavon might have been a better fit for Bobby adds a layer of intrigue to the show's casting dynamics. As Taxi cruised through its successful run, it was Andy Kaufman's boundary-pushing decisions and the intricate web of casting choices that added a layer of mystique to the show's legacy. Kaufman's alter ego, Latka Gravis, became a symbol of the unexpected, much like the show itself. And while the taxi ride might have been wild, it was one that left an indelible mark on television history. Off-screen romance drives on-screen chemistry, Danny DeVito, and Ree Perlman's real-life love in Taxi in the bustling world of television. The sparks that fly on-screen sometimes have an uncanny way of igniting off-screen as well. This was notably the case in the beloved 1978 TV series Taxi, where the endearing chemistry between Danny DeVito and Ree Perlman transcended the confines of the small screen. The two talented actors, who portrayed the quirky Louis de Palma and the feisty Zena Sherman respectively, not only captivated audiences with their comedic timing and electric banter, but also with their real-life romantic connection. The Vito and Perlman's on-screen personas often found themselves entangled in humorous power struggles, yet behind the scenes, their affection for each other blossomed into a genuine partnership. Their love story became a testament to the magnetic pull of shared passions and a testament to the idea that sometimes life truly does imitate art. The palpable connection they shared undoubtedly infused an extra layer of authenticity into their characters' interactions, making their scenes all the more memorable. A love born from New York Street's Taxi, known for its ensemble cast and slice-of-life depiction of New York City's taxi drivers, was itself born from the vibrant streets of the Big Apple. The series found its inspiration in the pages of a 1975 article titled Night Shifting for the Hip Fleet penned by Mark Jacobson in New York Magazine. The article delved into the lives of New York City's night shift cab drivers, weaving tales of their trials, triumphs, and unique camaraderie. James L. Brooks and David Davis, the creative minds behind Taxi, stumbled upon this article and recognized the potential to bring these tales to life on the screen. The narrative tapestry of Taxi was intricately woven from the threads of reality, the show capturing the essence of New York's diverse urban tapestry. The convergence of fact and fiction resulted in a series that resonated deeply with audiences, offering a window into the daily adventures and misadventures of those navigating the city's bustling streets. Recurring skyscrapers in the city's unseen star and unmistakable emblem of Taxi resides in its iconic opening credits, where a cab gracefully traverses New York City's Queensboro Bridge. As the cab, driven by Tony Danza's character, wins its way across the bridge, keen observers might notice something curious, the backdrop of buildings repeatedly reappearing in the same spatial arrangement. The reason behind this cinematic sleight of hand lies in the production's innovative approach. The breathtaking sequence was shot just once, right in the heart of the bridge's 1.4 mile span. Yet, the single take was ingeniously duplicated and cleverly interwoven throughout the opening credits, creating the illusion of an unending journey across the cityscape. This meticulous process, a testament to the creativity that thrived behind the scenes, turned the seemingly straightforward bridge crossing into an unforgettable visual motif. It's a symbol of the show's commitment to craftsmanship, echoing the spirit of New York's relentless innovation. 
In retrospect, Taxi remains a quintessential artifact of 1970s television, etched into the annals of pop culture. Whether in the endearing romance between DeVito and Perlman, the show's origins rooted in the heart of New York, or the mesmerizing opening credits that seamlessly defy reality, the series continues to shine as a testament to the interplay between life and art. As we steer our way through the vast highways of nostalgia, one show stands as a beacon of heartwarming camaraderie and hilarious escapades, the timeless TV series, Taxi. Just like the eclectic mix of characters that made up the Sunshine Cab Company, our own lives are a blend of diverse experiences, each journey a story waiting to be told. As the credits roll on this unforgettable journey, it's hard not to take a moment and reflect on how this show has touched our lives. Perhaps you found solace in the wisdom of Alex, laughed along with Lowey's schemes, or felt a kinship with the colorful array of passengers who hopped into the cab. Maybe it's the show's ability to blend humor with genuine moments of connection that keeps your memories of Taxi alive and vivid. We invite you to share your own tales from the driver's seat, those moments when Taxi became a part of your life's playlist. Whether it's a hilarious quote that still tickles your funny bone or a scene that made you see the world from a different angle, your reflections add yet another layer of richness to this show's legacy. As we bid adieu to this ride down memory lane, we extend our gratitude to you for joining us. Your time and interest are cherished, as they remind us that great shows like Taxi are not just entertainment, but touchstones in our lives. So, let your memories flow and your thoughts take flight, for it's the power of shared experiences that keeps the spirit of Taxi alive. In the grand theater of life, we're all characters on a journey, and Taxi's tale has become woven into our own narratives. Thank you for embracing the nostalgia, for celebrating the laughter, and for cherishing the moments that make Taxi a show that will forever have a meter running in our hearts. Warm regards, and here's to the stories that continue to unfold on the streets of memory.